like I said, Australia, this, like, like you just told me, you lost a job for serving a black person and you live in Australia and you said that when you see a black person you think of good music and blah 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 that's just another stereotype that we all sing music that we all do a dance we are the world's entertainers feels like all the liquor's swelling up we are the world's entertainers um, I truly believe okay this is AIX world right here I'm going to just lay it out to you. In AIX world, there's one government. One government for the entire planet. I know. A lot of people don't want NWO. But my form of New World Order would be way better than the form of New World Order that we're going to get. We work on a resource-based approach. Where there's famine and drought in the world... The resources of the world focus on famine and drought. Where there's earthquake and disaster, the resources of the world go to the disaster spot. See what I'm saying? Where we can grow certain fruits during certain times of the year in America, they grow certain fruits certain times of the year overseas and so on and so forth each region would have its purpose for the world the world would feed the world there would be no poor people in my world there would be no land barons there would be no masters in my world somebody said well AIX what well, if I want a big screen TV well you go work at the factory for a week and get a big screen TV AIX, I want a new car. You go work at the car place for a week and get a new car. That's capitalism. What is not what what's working? What's working? If we all got together to create a system, worldwide system, when there's food growing here, there's not food growing there. There's enough food to grow here for everybody. Because some places over there can grow food. Some places over there got this. It's better for the cattle to be over here. We'll grow cattle there. Then we'll migrate the cattle here. There's technology created by mankind for mankind, not to enslave mankind by mankind who can afford the technology to enslave mankind. The same technology used to enslave mankind could be the same technology used to feed all of mankind. On a worldwide scale, it takes one nation to feed another one. For that one to get on its feet to help feed another one. For that one to help get on its feet to feed another one. If there's 15 or 20 nations that can feed the rest of the world, why are there nations on this planet with no food? In the real AIX world, there is no racism. Because there's no need for it. If you just as equal as I am, I'm just as equal as you. The only difference we have is I don't like you and you don't like me. And if I don't like you that much, I won't watch you. If I don't like you that much, I won't be around you because I don't have to be. But if you want to walk through this neighborhood or that neighborhood, fine. I don't care. But if there's a problem with you and you want to mess with somebody, you want to do something to somebody, you have to do something first before somebody does something to you. Nobody's going to take a strike at somebody before they even know what the person's there for. And racism. Shit, it's a black guy. Get him. Shit, look, the white guy. Get him. There is no racism between any other race but blacks and whites in America. But that's all you see. On the undertow, there's Mexicans that don't like blacks. There's Mexicans that don't like whites. There's whites that don't like blacks. There's whites that like don't like Mexicans. And so on and so forth. All this shit is redundant and, and unproductive. Where in the fuck is all these white people and Mexicans and blacks going to go if they got to get on the same train? You got to get on the same bus. Got to get on the same airplane. Got to fight in the same wars, fight the same battles. Why can't they be friends together Monday through Friday, this and that? In the real world, they ask for it. Won't be no war for them to go fight at. They have no reason to fight each other. If I don't like you, I just don't have to see you. I just go over there. Who cares? See, when you 
been taught to hate somebody or dislike somebody, you find any reason to dislike them or to hate them. But you're taught, you look for shit. In the real world, I don't have enough time for that. Man, can you come help me do this? We got to help these people over here. In the real world, it's all about helping somebody else to get yours. The more I do for these people, the better my life will be. Because that's how it is. The more I do for others, the better it is for me. See, we, we, we got to pay for everything. The doctor says he's in it to save lives, but, you know, I can let this guy die and save this guy's life because he's going to give me 40000 to save his life. This guy's only got 1500 I don't think I'm going to fuck with him. Where's the logic in that when the oath is to save lives? And as a people, nobody wants to see somebody else hurt. You see a little baby who get hurt, everybody cry. I don't give a fuck if the baby's white and the motherfucker hurting the baby's white. I don't care. People do not like seeing kids hurt. But there's a time in American history where um, little black babies were used as uh, alligator bait. So uh, rich people can have nice fancy purses. But hey, you can't dwell on that. But as a peaceful people, you know, as an advanced race of people, as advanced species, we shouldn't have racism. We shouldn't have hunger. We shouldn't have famine. There's no reason for it. There's no reason for droughts. There's no reason for global warming. Unless the earth shifts and it's a natural occurrence, there's no reason. So, in a real AIX world, one government, one nation. My main goal would be space exploration, uh, reforestation. Uh, I would definitely have food centers on every single continent on the planet. I'd have food growing on every single continent of the planet for every single continent of the planet. I'm not going to do like in Africa right now where there's people starving over here and all the fucking food being grown over here is for England. Fuck England. Fuck Israel. Fuck the United States. It's about the people of the planet. It's not about this group of people or that group of people. I was watching on the news and there's like Iran is blowing off missiles and they can hit they might be able to hit Israel okay you name all this other shit but you made an emphasis on Israel oh what the fuck's up with Israel fuck Israel if Israel's not a world power to make people around the world better, if Israel's not trying to feed people in Africa, if Israel's not trying to stop racism in America, if Israel ain't doing shit for the American people, fuck Israel. Period. They're just a regular group of people to me. I don't give a damn. Ain't nothing special about that section of earth. Fuck them. They don't give a fuck about us. Fuck them. In the real AIX world, Israel will probably be a vacation spot because you'll be able to go anywhere around the world you want to. You'll be able to go live anywhere on the planet you want to. You won't have to pay to go anywhere on the planet you want to. You can move about the world freely in one world. There's no government restrictions, but there's a basic human respect for the inhabitants of the lands in which you want to visit. You are their brother, their sister. You are family. In the real AIX world, we're one family. We're just humans doing better for mankind so we can evolve and go to the next level of consciousness as a species, as a whole. No racism in my world. It's only respect and love for one another. There's nobody hungry. There's nobody homeless. Because technology works for us. We are not a slave to technology. Technology is our guide. We've been to Australia, 